Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom and I came out today because there are a lot of new updates for the month of September. They put a whole bunch of new 50th anniversary pieces throughout the park and they've added lightning lane signs to some of the attractions. So I decided I wanted to come out and take a look-see and bring you along with me. Anywho's, let's go do this. As soon as you walk in, take a look at that. The world's most magical celebration, 50th anniversary right here at the train station, and it is so beautiful. I already grabbed a couple of photos. They even have a photo pass photographer out taking photos because it is very popular. I have to say, I think I am a fan of the 50th anniversary logo. I really like the colors and just the way it looks. It looks so elegant and beautiful. Now we're gonna make our way down Main Street. Oh, looks like we got a little cavalcade coming down. What a great way to start the day. Greeted by Goofy, and then Maxie's there too. Hiya, Goof. <laughs> Along with the 50th anniversary sign they added out front, they also added some things to Main Street USA as well. Take a look at the clock on Main Street USA. It is so beautifully decorated for the 50th anniversary. And it has some banners on it that say, Citizen, the official timekeeper of the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary celebration. And that's what I was talking about. I just like the color and the design. Everything is just so beautiful. Look at that. So, so nice. And it fits in with the castle perfectly. I feel like I was just here at the Magic Kingdom earlier this week, but so much has changed. So many new 50th anniversary pieces, and of course the lightning lane signage. So basically they put up lightning lane signs where the fast pass line used to be, and I felt like I needed to come out and just show you guys. Even though I'm not a fan of the lightning lane, I'm still intrigued to see the progress of the park, and uh, just seeing it change so quickly from August to September, bada boom, bada bang, everything is different. I think we're just gonna proceed right up through Cinderella Castle and take a look at that 50th logo right there. Isn't it just so beautiful? The whole castle actually is so beautiful. Way better than the 25th anniversary. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled for any of the lightning lane signs. Now I don't know if these are permanent or if they're temporary, but I still wanna show them if I do spot them out. I do know where two of them are, so we're gonna go check those out and possibly take a ride on the attractions that we see. The first sign is gonna be right here at It's a Small World. By the way, it's only a five minute wait, but right over here, this is where the lightning lane is at. Look, they got a sign right there, lightning lane, and I think it's so amazing. Well, there you have it, the first lightning lane. And since we're here and it's a five minute wait, we might as well ride. And uh, we're not gonna use the lightning lane, even though you can technically, if you have a DAS pass or any multi-experience passes, that's basically just kind of covering up the fast pass lane. And uh, yeah, might as well go for a ride on It's a Small World. They also recently touched up the paint in here because it looks so fresh and bright and clean. Very fancy. I do have to say, I still much prefer the Disneyland version of It's a Small World. I think it's just a better ride overall, mainly because I like the outdoor portion, but this one's still very nice. Bye-bye. <laughs> Welcome to the happiest cruise that ever sailed.
even though it's a small world isn't really high up there for me as some of my favorite rides at the magic kingdom there's no doubt about it that is one of the coolest rides to actually ride whenever it's a hot day out it really does cool you down mainly because of the water and the ac is very powerful but Anywho, I really liked it. It's a lot of fun to just go kind of sit back and take a little boat ride. But we're going to move along and see if we can spot any more lightning lane signs. I think we'll make our way down to Tomorrowland. I know for a fact that there is one of the lightning lanes down there. But also maybe ride some rides down there. I wouldn't mind maybe doing a lap on the people mover. Or even sitting down on the carousel progress. Today is one of those days it's really hot. And it's best to avoid being outside. So sit down locations, you know, shows. Those are amazing. I do have to say though, the wait times are remarkably low today and it's been that way for the past couple of weeks. I noticed Seven Doors Mine Train was only a 40 minute wait, which is actually a very low wait time for that ride. And most of the other rides are like five to 20. So that's not too bad at all. Look at that, 40 minutes. And they're not even queuing up outside. You kind of just walk right in the queue. I haven't seen that since the last time we were here. Also, I thought about talking about my beard. Recently, I've been discussing whether I should let it grow out or if I should trim it back a little bit. And I think I'm gonna trim it up a little bit. I wanna grow it down here, but I think being wearing mask all the time really isn't the best time to actually do that. So I think I might, you know, trim it down a little bit, keep the beard, but I'm not gonna go for length. I'm gonna try to keep it clean and neat. And then eventually in the future, I think I'm gonna grow it out, like grow, grow it out, ZZ Top wise. Before we officially head into Tomorrowland, the Cheshire Cafe actually reopened and I thought about stopping and getting myself a nice little slushie. They have the Curiouser Curiouser slushie, which is basically a lemonade and a Fanta Blue Raspberry topped with whipped cream and it looks good, so I was a little curious. I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of a hard time saying the name of this drink. The Curiouser, Curiouser, Curiouser and Curiouser <laughs> slushy. They say it really quick, Curiouser, Curiouser. But like I said, I was very curious anyway, so here we go. That's good. <laughs> This is very, very delicious. And I like how they add the little whipped cream on it. And sometimes I find it hard to describe uh, the difference between a slushy and an icy. So basically this is like uh, one of the frozen drinks from Hills or Ames or any of those department stores, like in the food court. It's not chunky, it's kind of very light. Like I feel like it's like a pound, honestly. It's very, very light. I think a pound is the wrong word. <laughs> a whole pound full of drink. But I, it is very light. It's very, uh, very, very airy, can we say. And now that we're over in Tomorrowland, take a look at that. Our next lightning lane sign. How fancy. Now this one is actually really big lettering and it's a part of the sign itself. It's not just written on the curtain. And uh, also it's a five minute wait for Tomorrowland Speedway. Like I said, everything is low, low wait times. Even though Tomorrowland Speedway is a five minute wait, I think we're going to do a hard pass on that one. I mean, I do love the ride, but it is really hard to steer, hold the camera, and it's very loud. So it's not one of my favorite rides to actually film. I'd rather do something that could bring you guys along with me, like maybe Astro Orbiter or the People Mover. Those are the, my preferable rides or even the Carousel of Progress. You know, I love a good Carousel of Progress. Oh my lord, I decided to come over and check out Space Mountain and number one, they took away the fast pass sign. It looks like they're about to lightning lane it, lightning lane it, <laughs> but it is also a five minute wait and honestly, you cannot pass up a five minute wait for Space Mountain. Look at that. I can't even believe it and soon it's going to say lightning lane on that sign right over there. Pretty interesting. Wow, this is so awesome. There is literally nobody in line here. Like, I never see it this empty. You just have the queue in the back. Like, right here on each side, on Alpha and Omega. When they said five minutes, they really mean no wait at all. Like, not even five minutes, just the length of the queue. You walk straight to the ride. Looks like we got lucky row number one. I don't know if it's lucky, though. I feel like it's probably the most scariest. I always feel like I'm gonna come flying off the cart or off the track. 
I'd best remove the hat because this here is the wildest ride in space! The lights are on! That is what I am talking about. A five minute wait for Space Mountain? Absolutely yes. And I got so excited when I seen the lights on for the people mover, I thought maybe it was gonna be my time. All time favorite bucket list thing, ride Space Mountain with the lights on. And I thought maybe it was gonna happen, but not today. It looks like it's a 15 minute wait for Space Ranger Spin. I'm still shocked that we saw a posted wait time of five minutes for Space Mountain. I feel like that was just kind of, I don't think I've ever seen that unless it was an after hours event. Kind of got me thinking, if Space Mountain was a five minute wait, I wonder what Big Thunder Mountain is. I can look in the app, but I figured maybe I'll take a little walk over there. Also, I wanna see if there's any more of the lightning lane signs, and I'm kind of just shocked on how empty it is here today. Usually the hub itself is very crowded, but not too many people just kind of uh, casually walking around We got the up music actually playing Man, I love just being here just being here. That's all I need to do Don't need to ride rides don't need to eat food don't need to watch shows just kind of walk around Magic Kingdom And somebody just got engaged awesome is that as I'm talking about how much I just love being here people are getting engaged oh boy we gotta hurry up looks like Gaston's coming through on his horse <laughs> oh yeah oh boy gotta get across the bridge or we're gonna get stuck look at that hey there <laughs> here there Hey! Hi, Mary! Oh, yes! The step in time! <laughs> Mary said she'd be looking for me on the rooftops of London and don't forget to step in time. And I was like, oh, I won't! That was really awesome. I love it when they actually talk to you from the cavalcades and they give you like a good interaction. I kind of miss like having up close interactions with them, but getting like pointed out and like being there. Now, there was nobody around me, but you know what I mean? Just getting that interaction and that attention really feels cool. Whenever I walk past Splash Mountain, I always like to just stop and watch one of the flumes actually go down. Does anybody else do that? Like, I feel like I need to at least watch it go down once. Look at that. Isn't that just so amazing? 10 minutes. Not too shabby at all. Look at this. Nobody in line. This is great. <laughs> I love it. This is so, so amazing. Look at this. Holy moly. This is one o'clock in the afternoon. We could literally sit anywhere we wanted to. This is the wildest ride in the wilderness. That's how it's done. And look at this, we got the front, the front because nobody else was here. Here we go now. Welcome back. 
passenger train making Look at that. Pool. Nobody Stop in line. And gather all of your belongings wow. and exit out to your right. Do not attempt to board this train. That is so amazing. You know things are absolutely crazy when you get done with your ride and there's nobody waiting to ride when you get done. Especially on Big Thunder Mountain. Like that is that is more shocking than five minute wait on Space Mountain, I have to say. And look who's outside saying hi to everybody. My favorite country bear, Big Al. That is awesome. <laughs> How you doing, Big Al? Thank you. <laughs> now I think we're actually going to just head back out to Main Street. I'm still shocked at everything we got accomplished today. I know it's hard to perceive time in a vlog, but I think I got here at 12.30 and it's about 1.45 now. And we rode so much world. It's a small world. We rode Space Mountain. We rode Big Thunder Mountain. And usually some of those things would take an hour on its own. And we did all three of them. Like that is fantastic. Also, take a look at this. It looks like they're really, really broadcasting the fact that the Crystal Palace has seating available. I don't think I've ever seen this sign out here on Main Street before, but it's really letting people know you don't need a reservation if you want to eat there. And anyways, I think that is gonna do it for me. I had so much fun in such a little bit of time here. Main reason I wanted to come out was show you all the new 50th items and also the lightning lane signs. I think that is some big news. I'm very shocked how quick they actually switched over like that. I didn't see it coming. And let me know in the comments what you guys think. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the lightning lane and I'm not really a fan. I'm a fan of fast pass. Fast pass was my favorite thing. So um, I, I wish they could actually keep the system and name it fast pass because i probably would have liked it a lot better then i don't like the name lightning lane as much as fast pass but anywho i will go rambling on let me know in the comments what you guys think and i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye